Today, I'd like to introduce the students to some strategies for approaching the speaking portion of the OET test. As you probably know, each speaking scenario is timed to five minutes. This can seem like a very long time to have to speak for if you're unfamiliar with the topic being discussed or the exam situation. However, with the right approach and a solid plan, and with enough practice under your belt, you can complete the speaking task competently and with confidence. The speaking role play will take place between you and a single interviewer. You will play the part of the health professional and the interviewer will play the part of the patient. As this is a test of your speaking abilities, you will be expected to do a majority of the talking during the five, minute, five minutes of role play. Before the five minutes are counted, you have two minutes to read over the scenario and get a general idea for the topic that will be discussed between you and the patient. This is your chance to ask any questions of the interviewer to clarify aspects of the scenario that are unclear to you. You can also use this time to think about different questions you may ask or explanations you may give and you, how you will phrase them. Once the role play begins, try to quickly identify the patient's concerns regarding the topic. You will be assessed on your ability to address these concerns over the course of the role play. Depending on the scenario, you may be called upon to explain certain medical conditions or procedures or treatment plans to the patient. However, keep in mind that the OET is a test of your English abilities and will not be assessing the accuracy or scope of your clinical knowledge. One important thing to remember about the test is that the interviewer will not be the one assessing you. Rather, your role play will be recorded and this recording will be assessed by a separate examiner. With that in mind, make sure that you speak every word clearly and that any descriptions you give contain enough details to be visualized based on words. If you find yourself being completely unfamiliar with the topic being discussed in this scenario, don't be afraid to make educated guesses and invent facts. Remember, you're not being tested on your medical knowledge. Practice speaking at a good pace that will maximize your ability to be fluent and be clearly understood by the examiner. Sometimes you will encounter a situation like the one described on this slide. Make sure you don't end up sounding like the nurse in this scenario. You must be ready to respond to difficult or uncooperative patients. The OET is as much a test of your ability to communicate in a clinical setting as it is a test of your English fluency. Learn to speak in a tactful but confident manner that is befitting of your profession. If you encounter a scenario where the patient becomes upset or stubbornly uncooperative, do not panic. Stay calm and address the patient's concerns in a professional manner. If you ask the right questions and give the right answers, the patient will calm down. The OET is not designed for the interviewer to scream at you for five minutes. Think of this as your opportunity to show off your excellent communication skills.